Okay, let's get this amazing burst tutorial started. Let's see how well I do, okay guys? So what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and start by getting a shape, okay? And we're gonna size it to the size of our tumbler. So I measured my tumbler and my tumbler is um, nine and a half inches in the circumference and it is eight inches in height. And I'm gonna lock that again, okay? So I've got now, I've got the template the size I need it. I'm gonna change the color. I always do this just so that it's easy for me to keep track of everything. This is where you would upload your SVGs or your files, whatever it is that you wanna use to create your pattern. I really wanna use the word baddie. I know, right? Predictable, but I do. I'm gonna go ahead and make the word a little bit smaller and I am gonna place it right here. Now you're probably wondering why are we um, placing our template so that it's hanging off of the page? Well, that's because we're gonna create a seamless pattern, okay? So I duplicated the word baddie and now I'm gonna put it like this just because, you know, I want it to look like the baddie's facing all different directions and stuff like that, okay? So here's our other word, okay? So um, in order for us to make this a seamless pattern, the two ends, when you bring them together, they need to pull the pattern together so that it looks seamless. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab a shape so that we can slice, okay? Now, I know that a lot of people don't do this, but I like to change the color, um, or maybe a lot of you do. I don't know everybody's life, but I like to change the color um, of my shape when I'm gonna slice. We're gonna move this back because it helps me keep better track of exactly what layers I'm gonna delete, and then it just prevents me from, you know, getting confused. Okay. Is it good? Am I good? Let's see. Okay. All right, so there we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hide the template and we are going to slice, okay? The reason we're slicing is because we need to bring the words that are hanging off of the edge. We're gonna delete all of the blue because that is the excess. It was easy to single out those layers. Okay, so we're gonna bring our template back. We're, our template, we're gonna be hiding it and bringing it back the whole time, guys. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring the what's hanging off to this other side of the template so that when you bring it together, it creates that nice seam. So here's a tip on how to do that flawlessly. Okay, pull up a line from your shapes, okay? And stretch it to be longer than your template, okay? Let me not keep saying okay. How annoying. Um, all right, so we are going to go ahead and I like to use the lines on the grid just to make sure that I keep my line straight, especially when you're turning it, you wanna make sure that you're keeping the line straight. Now go ahead and bring it down and place it right underneath your word. You're gonna duplicate it and do the same thing down here. Find, it, find a spot on your word that is gonna help you, that's gonna guide you, okay? So once we have that, make sure that you click just the part that's sliced, okay? Always be, always be cautious of that while you're doing this template. Um, so you don't move everything around. So we're gonna go ahead and drag this and we're gonna put it right over the line, okay? Using those guides. Okay, perfect. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. Let's see, did I? Okay, perfect. And so now we're gonna delete our lines because we only needed those to help us do this. So now when you bring the wrap together, you're gonna finish out those words nicely, okay? So now the other, why did you move? Okay, sorry. I don't talk shit about cricket. Don't talk shit about cricket. Okay, um, so now we're gonna hide our lines. We're gonna delete them. We don't need them anymore, okay? And we are going to bring the word baddie back. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I grabbed the wrong layer. But see, you can just click back. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip this and just do what, whatever it is that you're using, whether you're using hearts or or you know, flowers or whatever it is that you may be making your pattern out of, just flip them and place them however you want. I don't really mind that the word is gonna be cut off in some areas. I wanted it to be seamless at the seams, but I'm okay with the top and the bottom getting a little cut off here and there. If you are not, that's okay. Um, just design your template so that your stuff isn't hanging off of the edge. Um, see, like if, if it was bothering me too much, I could just do this. So basically you're just gonna keep duplicating your pattern in my case, it's the word baddie, and you're just gonna find a uh, placement for it as you go, okay? Do, 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 do. I think we're gonna have room for basically just this one, and I'm gonna just keep it, keep this one straight right here at the bottom. 
I'm gonna angle this a little bit more so it doesn't matchy matchy too much with this. All right, guys, I think we're doing pretty good here. Um, just kind of maneuver this around until you like it, until it's perfect for you. Then I'm going to pull a shape. I'm going to grab a heart because I want to add something to fill in those negative spaces. Okay, size it to whatever size you want and then place it where you want it. I'm going to obviously duplicate my heart and grab it and put it in different sections. I think this is going to add a really cute touch. Um, oh, cricket. <laughs> it's Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay. So you're just going to kind of want to keep duplicating. Oh my goodness. Cricket is so slow. And you're going to want to just put those little hearts and stuff wherever, wherever you think that they look pretty. Once you have, um, everything, in, you know, lined up and everything looks good. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we are going to take our template and we're going to hide it and then we're going to highlight all of the hearts and the word baddie and we're going to weld it so that it becomes just one piece okay and the entire time we are going to need our template the whole time we're going to need this template okay so that's perfect but we're going to hide the template for now we're going to click on this and we're going to offset it okay this is how you start to get that burst effect um, and you can do as many offsets as you want. You can do them as thick or as thin as you want. I do want to tell you guys that, sorry guys, my cricket is always so slow. Um, I do want to tell you guys that this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, and the reason it gets tricky is because cricket, um, does not allow you to slice multiple things at the same time. You can only do two. Um, you can only do whatever item you're using to slice and whatever the you know actual decal image is so it's going to cause us a little bit of work but it's okay it's okay i'm going to show you how i did it okay so just make your first offset however however you want it to look okay and then hit apply and then go ahead and hide your first letter your first layer go to your offset and then offset your offset and that's what's going to continue to create these really cool um, layers, okay? And then just apply. And then you're going to repeat the process again, okay? You are going to take your first, your offset, your first offset before this one, and you're going to offset your most recent one. So you're going to continuously offset the most recent offset, okay? Um, and just kind of change, you know, change the thickness of your offsets, um, let's see here. Okay, I think I'm going to do one more offset and we're going to be good to go, guys. I think this is, I think this is good right here. I'm happy with this. And if you want to, you can kind of click everything. Um, you can click all of your layers um, just so that you can get an idea of what they're going to look like. Okay, um, I'm pretty happy with this. Now, unfortunately, if Cricut allowed us to slice a lot of stuff at once we could duplicate this square put it on top and slice off all the edges but because it does not allow us to do that we are going to have to slice everything one by one and this is where it's going to get tricky because we're going to want to maintain the integrity of our shape as much as possible so um Okay, we can hide our first layer because obviously it's already, you know, to the size and we're going to go on to our second layer. Okay, and now we're going to duplicate. We're going to duplicate our template and change the color. The reason we're duplicating the template is because this is our guide that we're putting directly on top. This is our guide for exactly where we need to make that slice. Okay, so hide your original template. Highlight those two, slice it. And then because we changed the color, it's going to be easy to delete the layers we don't need, which is this yellow one, this yellow one, and then that excess we trimmed off the edge. We're going to delete that, okay? And just to show you guys what it's going to start to look like, um, there you go, okay? All right, so let's keep going. We're going to move on to our third one, okay? Um, let's, this is our base, okay? Oh, why did that? 
Sorry, guys. I thought I thought it moved, but I'm okay. Phew! Oh, cricket, how you play with my emotions. Oh, okay, that made me sweat. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate, okay? Make it yellow again. And then we're going to make sure we have our cursor on the right box. And then we're going to bring it up and line it up as close as possible. Make sure that we have only those two. Um, okay. The yellow, the yellow box and the layer that we're working on slicing, which is this one right here. Okay. And then let's just triple check that we lined it up good. Cause I feel like my computer, my mouse moved. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's remove the original template and then let's slice. And then once again, we're going to remove the stuff we don't need, which is the yellow and the trim. And like I said, if you just continue to bring them into the order uh, where they should go, and then if you just want to continue to check, you can unhide them all just to look at them. Put your, put your, um, Put your um, template on it and see we're we're trucking along guys we've only got two two more to trim and that's it we're done two more and we're done um sorry for this tedious for this tedious step you guys <laughs> i feel so bad that we have to do it this way all right so we're gonna go ahead and once again change the color to yellow okay i get super close to the microphone when it's time for me to do this step because i'm trying to be as accurate as possible when i slice Okay. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and hide our original template once again and slice this and then come up here to the top and remove the yellow and also remove that trim. Okay. And then bring this layer underneath all the ones that you already, um, that you already sliced. Okay. And like I said, you can keep checking your work if you want to, right? Look at, that's how we're looking. Okay, so we just need to do the last one. Okay, um, oops, oopsie, which is this one right here. Okay, so we're gonna duplicate this once again, make it yellow. Once again, we're gonna line it up as close as we can. And then we are going to only have the layer visible that we are going to slice, okay? We're gonna go ahead and slice it, and this is it. This is the last one that we have to do this to, yay! And now you can click them all to make them visible, and you can triple check your work. Okay, guys, so basically, once you have this part done, you can just go ahead and come in here and click the different colors that you wanna make your layers, okay? Um, my template moved a little bit, but honestly, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna mess with it right now, so, um, but, Go ahead and just go in there and fill in with whatever colors you want. Okay, all right, so we're gonna come back and we're gonna continue to do this. Okay, and then, but let's do like a lighter pink because we want that constant contrast in color. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, that's perfect. And then I think I'm gonna do another purple, but like a lilac. <gasps> Ooh, okay, love, love, love. Once we are done with all of this, just highlight the whole thing select um, attach and now you have your cut lines ready to go and you're ready to send it to your Cricut machine let's cut this before something else happens he he and at the end of the video I will show you this I'll show you a little time lapse of me glittering this so you could see what it looks like and yeah I hope you're having fun da -da -do -de, da -da -da -do. okay sorry Rim. okay I'm sorry I'm not sorry. I keep apologizing, but I'm not stopping. Rim. Okay, I'm done. Okay, guys. So for my first time, I think we did amazing. Here's a little time lapse of me glittering it. Um, pro tip, definitely do the lightest color last. Um, I already know that, but I just, I don't know what I was thinking. I haven't had anything to eat today. Hee <laughs> hee. But anyway, um, I am so excited about how this turned out. I love it. It was so fun to make aside from the cricket <laughs> technical difficulties that I edited out. But anyway, um, it is so much easier to just glitter it first and then wrap it. Um, I did rip it a little bit, but that was my fault. Other than that, you guys, it lined up perfectly and the seams lined up 
perfectly. So I can't wait to make another one. Leave me a comment and let me know if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to cut the file and how to glitter the tumbler. Anyway, see you next time. Besitos.